Hey everybody! I'm here today with a simple driving lesson on avoiding objects while reversing. In this simple video tutorial, I'll be going over the basics of object avoidance while you're reversing a car. So let's get right into the video. First and foremost, there are a number of things that you can look at um, to help you avoid objects. And then I'll demonstrate what you can do. So first and foremost, you have your mirrors. Okay, you have two mirrors on the side, and then you have a rear view mirror. Okay, you also have your windshields, your front and your rear. And then you also have your windows. So you have most likely four windows in the car or even five or six, whatever the case is. Okay. In addition, if you have a modern car that has a feature like this, like a reverse camera, you can most definitely use that as well. Okay. So let's get right into it. Your mirrors on each side are going to help you because they're going to tell you exactly where the sides of your car are. So for instance, if I look at this mirror and I'm going backwards, Let's say that there's an object right where one of the parking lines over there is. Okay, I'm going to go backwards. This is a completely empty parking lot. So what I want to do is I want to look at the side of my mirror. So you can see right here, the side mirror, you can see there's a line, okay, right over there. There's a line right over there. And um, I know that I'm not going to hit it, let's say that was a pylon or an object. I know that I'm not going to hit that because I can see the side of my car not hitting that right there. So that's how you can sort of use your mirrors like that, okay? So you, I know I'm not gonna hit that object, that imaginary object because of my mirror. Same thing goes with this mirror over here. You can see that there is indeed another line and this will allow you to get really tight beside something without worrying about hitting it. In addition to that, you can use your rear view camera like this to not hit something else behind you. So let's say um, there's a there's a curb stop over there, like something that's you know preventing me from going over uh, parking too far, right? I can hit this button right here, and it gives me an, a top down view. I can see the curb is right there, so I can continue reversing and. I can stop and my bumper is about, I don't know, I'd say like eight inches to maybe 12 inches away, um, about a foot away from the curb. So I'm not gonna hit the curb, okay? Now I'm gonna drive forward and I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna park right beside that bus um, and, and pretend that's an object, okay? Then we'll park beside the garbage, uh, the recycling and garbage cans that we just saw. Okay, so if I go backwards, my rear view mirror is going to give me an overall view of what's happening behind my car. In addition, that rear windshield is going to also show me the same thing. So I can go back and I can know that by looking here and out the rear windshield and out the side windows, I can know that there's no objects that I'm going to reverse directly into. But let's say I wanted to get close uh, or avoid an object. You know, let's say the bus is there and I want to get close to the bus but avoid it. I could maneuver my car and I could be, uh, you know, looking. Let me just make sure I'm not going to hit anything. I could be looking in that, in that, uh, in that mirror right there and you can see how close I can get to the bus I can crank my wheel like this I can get super close to the bus and you can see I'm not gonna hit it because I'm using my mirrors same thing with those garbage cans over there okay with those garbage bins let's say I'm reversing and I want to get close to them but I, I want to avoid them so let's say I'm gonna line my car up so that I'm you know if I reverse straight in a straight line I'm gonna hit that garbage bin so let's say I wanted to avoid that Okay, obviously as you reverse, you're looking at all of your windows, all of your windshields, and all of your mirrors. But to avoid it, I could, I know that I could use this mirror specifically to swing my car out enough. See that? And I know, as you can see right there, I know that I'm avoiding that garbage, uh, that garbage bin if I go straight backwards now. So if I go straight backwards, as you can see, I know that I'm not going to hit the garbage bin. Like I said, I'm continually looking in all of the mirrors and all of the windows and windshields, but I know for a fact, because of this mirror, that I am not going to hit that garbage bin. And that's it. Essentially, you're going to be using all of the things at your disposal to uh, avoid objects however each specific thing has a different purpose like i said your rear view camera is going to show you how far back you can go your rear view mirror and your rear windshield are going to show you an overview of what's behind your car and then your side mirrors are going to allow you to see where the side of your car is in relation to an object like that and that's basically it if you enjoyed this driving lesson please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching